Hello, everyone. That was weird. I don't know why that was so weird. Okay, so, you know, I got home from work today and was like, I really need to do some dishes and I really got to put all this laundry away. And the kids went to bed like maybe 20 minutes after and I'm thinking, what do you want, Mammy? <gasps> Hello. And I'm thinking, well, if I always just do my regular routine, my videos are gonna get pretty dang repetitive, pretty fast. And, um, well, that's about it. So I decided to do a question and answer video. Um, really quick, really simple. Um, I asked like two of my cousins for some questions, a few people that I used to be like best friends with that I just don't really talk to anymore and then maybe like two people that I'm kind of more just acquaintances with that, you know, Facebook keeps us in touch but that's about it. We don't even like comment each other stuff. So I thought we would just have a tea time talk tonight with a Q&A because why are you just going to keep watching me folding my laundry and put it away every night? So anyways, I think I picked out just a few, actually like there are several that were okay. I don't think there were any that were like too inappropriate at all. I really thought I was going to get some embarrassing things that would be like, make it a little interesting. But um, I guess I should say I'm lucky that I didn't because I'm pretty bashful. So I guess let's just hop into it. I, I thought that was weird. My cousin Cecilia asked, why do you love your cousin Cecilia? This is so simple in my head, but not something that's so simple to say out loud. <laughs> my cousin Cecilia is definitely the life of the party, which is, why I'm still upset that she pretended that something horrible happened to her and went to the hospital on my wedding day and I got a karaoke machine just because I knew that she would be coming to my wedding and then she didn't come but why I love her um she's like the most fun person that you'll ever meet and <laughs> Probably one of the best moms. She's definitely my inspiration to be um, a better mom to my kids. But I'm not going to go on and on about that because then it's just going to be too mushy and she's just going to get a bigger head than she already has. You know, which she should have because she's Cecilia. What is your favorite quality in your friend? Are you okay? Remy, calm down. I really like someone that'll do car karaoke with me. And that sounds silly, but you have friends that'll do it. And you have such a good time and you're like, you know, you can laugh at anything. Because if you can do car karaoke together and really do car karaoke, like get really into it and almost have a car accident because you're dancing so hardcore, then I think you have that kind of friendship that you can just probably laugh for hours and just be yourself and be completely happy. And I just... So that's probably one of the qualities I look for, for really listen when you need someone to vent. I haven't had one of those friends in a really long time. I actually don't have a whole lot of friends because I am a picky friend picker. And that is only because... Well, anyway. What is something you wish you could change about the world? That's a tough one because there are a whole lot of things that I would like to change about the world. I think that it's a very cruel, very um, sad time and I don't think it's like just this generation. I think it always has been but as we grow and we learn more about ourselves and just learn more in general, we start to realize that it's just not a very nice place. But there are very nice things about it. I think one of the main things I would change is um this is gonna sound super corny but definitely the hunger crisis that's everywhere i always raised my kids to be super grateful they um have anything they used to talk about oh we have such a small house which i mean we do 
but you know it's better than no house and my kids never go hungry so you know that's kind of off subject I wish that everyone could have some food to eat even like just enough to get by could you imagine starving I can't imagine starving I I don't really know how to answer that question I'm bad at this Q&A already I think I would just definitely like to see more help, helping hands. There's a lot of people with a lot of money that would rather spend it on um, overpriced things that they don't need instead of charities. And I, you know, I know a lot of people with a lot of money do do a lot of charities. I'm not saying all of them, but I think there are a lot more that could do a lot more to help the people that need things. That's, that is my answer. That is what I would change in the world. Okay. What is your favorite thing about yourself? Um, my favorite thing about myself is probably a blessing and a curse. And I say it's a curse because people like to take advantage of other people. And my thing is I am very forgiving. And while it is a blessing because I don't have to carry the weight of or the burden uh, feeling upset well I mean I could still feel upset but feeling like you know this person <clears throat> again I'm so bad at wording this maybe I should have read the questions like beforehand I think I am such a forgiving person because I don't want someone to feel like I would feel if someone were angry at me and I knew that I was sorry I would want them to forgive me because people make mistakes so I forgive people because I know people make mistakes we're human I'm not God I don't have the right to stay angry and hold this grudge and hold judgment over what you've done but it's also a curse because people like to think that they could do the same thing over and over again because I will forgive them the thing is I will forgive you but I won't forget what you've done and I won't hold it over your head but in my mind I'll hold it over your head so if you're still doing something and you're still thinking that you you know you do whatever it is you want I'm not gonna stick around <laughs> but also if I wasn't such a forgiving person I wouldn't have the life that I have now I wouldn't have Jude I wouldn't be here in California um, a lot of things would be different and I'm actually quite quaint with how things are right now. What character do you relate to the most and why? This is so hard. Okay, hold on. Give me like an hour. Who is it? Who is it? I don't know. Who do I relate to? What character do I relate to? This is a hard one. I'm gonna have to come back to this one. It's been, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna come back to that one. Okay, this one is, why did you move to Texas? I moved to Texas for reasons that I don't like to talk about anymore. You know, God brings people into your life and he's, I, sometimes I think he does that so that you could get the experience of where those people take you, not so much the person. So I moved to Texas with um, one intention, but um, it was definitely huge, a huge thing. That changed my life and I would do it again but I would love if I could go there with different motivation and become the person that I'm supposed to be without the motivation that brought me there in the first place all in all I moved there for someone but that's okay because I ended up loving the place <clears throat> do you like California or Texas better and why? That is, 
That's another tough one. I honestly really, really love the mountains. I love the beach. Every time I go on a ride, I love to see everything. My family is here in California, which I'm obviously a huge family person. I know there's people that are like the work people. There's people that are people for themselves. I am a family person. My ideal day off, if Carlos isn't around, is to be with my mom or my siblings because they are my best friends. And, um, you know, you can't get much better than the scenery. But, on the other hand, you go to Texas and you meet these people and they become your family without being your blood. And everyone is so neighborly there. I never spent one holiday alone because I moved out there with my daughter alone. And the person that I went out there for, it wasn't it wasn't good so when I became alone with Bonnie um, I was never alone I had everyone I had surgery and my neighbors offered to take Bonnie so I could rest they brought me dinner I would have dinner and movie nights I I had something to do every single holiday um, with different families that didn't even know me but they welcomed me and Bonnie um, relationships that I've honestly never had here um, where I was raised and I love that and I miss that and I miss the people the friendships I have in Texas are probably the realest ones I have I have I have um, one best best friend here she doesn't live in the city but you know I've been we've been best friends for forever and, um, so I'm not speaking of her, but you will not find friendships like the ones I have in Texas other than my best friend here. Um, these are people that knew me for like a few weeks and became my family and still keep in touch with me, even though I'm here and I don't, you know, I can't make plans to go back there anytime soon. But I do really blabber for one. The answer is I really do. I like Texas better and I want to um, talk my husband into moving there eventually. I don't know if it will ever happen. I don't know if it's in the stars or not, but that is ultimately where I want to be. And there are days I regret moving back to California, but if I didn't, then me and Carlos wouldn't be married. I wouldn't have Jude. I, I really don't know. I don't know if you know, if it should be a regret because my life has moved up and on. Maybe we'll end up in Texas again. Maybe we won't. God has a plan and I trust that. How do you feel becoming a mother for the first time? How did you feel? Okay. How did you feel becoming a mother for the first time? My, okay, so there are some people that are like, oh, I'm a mother once I'm pregnant. And then there's some people that are like, you're a mother once the baby's in your arms. I personally believe once you have this being inside of you, making you sick, taking all your energy, you're a mom. Before you know you're pregnant, you're a mom. Like, that's it. You're done. And your life is not yours anymore. So, being a mom for the first time was really hard and it wasn't hard because you know babies are difficult or whatever it was um I had a really good pregnancy with Bonnie actually other than it being so swollen that I couldn't even like close my hands my feet literally looked like balloons when I wore my flip-flops I had a muffin top on my foot like how does that happen it happened so other than that I had a really good pregnancy I was like not really sick um, I, I didn't have to work for the whole thing. I worked for like five months, I think. And we were really blessed that I didn't have to work. Carlos afforded to, you know, I, I didn't have to work. But there were a lot of things that made it less enjoyable. But definitely the thing to keep me going was that I knew my life wasn't about me anymore. And 
the way I feel about that is something that I'll never be able to explain. And I'm sure all you moms um, can relate. <laughs> I don't know how to put it into words. But once you know that your life is not yours, <laughs> you are not here for yourself anymore. You are here for someone else. I mean... All I can really say is it changed me. I I am disgusted by the person I was before I was pregnant and I am grateful every day for how Bonnie saved me. Bonnie saved me. What's something you did in your past that you regret but wouldn't be where you are today if you didn't do it? So I have like several regrets, um, but how much can you really regret it if you wouldn't be who you are. I mean, I enjoy who I am now. I do not particularly like the person that I was in the past at all. Um, I would have to say something that I really regret is spending so much time on certain people when I was younger. And that goes with, you know, how can you really regret it? Because had I not wasted my time on them, um, I wouldn't have gone to Texas. I wouldn't have met a lot of the people that I love so much now. I wouldn't have grown into an adult because I feel like I really found myself when I lived in Texas. I became this person that I never thought that I could be. I, you know, I really feel like Texas shaped me and that sounds silly but there has to be one breaking thing in everyone's life that really makes you open your eyes and realize you know you're not that teenager that dreaded life and didn't want to go on and just didn't feel like anything could be good um and for me that was Texas so while I regret spending so much time, while I regret, while I regret <laughs> um, all the time that I wasted on this person and I could have been out living my life, meeting people in real life. Um, instead of talking to them on the phone and the internet and stuff. Um, could have been doing the high school things and, you know, had more motivation to be in high school rather than talking to my parents and to letting me be homeschooled. And I could have really gotten to know a lot of people that could have been great here, but pushed them away because I was wasting my time on someone. But while I did all that, that person kind of led me into the place that is my second home that I love and that molded me pretty much. <laughs> and that makes it hard to regret because I would not be where I am. So that's like the best answer I could think of for that question because I really don't believe in regretting things like what are you going to do it's the past I don't think that we should dwell on things I think we are always evolving and we're always moving forward and well you know we make mistakes that's okay because I mean I love my life and something that I did wrong in the past got me to this right place right now and that's something to be grateful for so I'd rather look at the silver linings What's been life's biggest lesson to you so far? Question one or two, I think it was, um, about my favorite thing about myself is also being a curse. Is I don't know if it's so much like a life lesson, but I definitely, if I could go back in time in being forgiving and... If I could go back in time, I would still be the forgiving person I am, because I'm still that person, obviously, but I would handle it differently. I would forgive, but I wouldn't give 
chance after chance after chance and waste my time over and over again and I think that that is several lessons in one because it's something I have always done I'll forgive someone and I'll let them come right back into like how we were say we were best friends and you did something horrible to me I'll be mad for a few hours and I'll be like you know what I'm not gonna hold this on my chest we're okay I think it would be just that um you know Forgive, don't forget, move on, but don't let them keep doing the same thing that they're doing. And like I said, that's a whole bunch of lessons put into one because it's happened so many times. And now that I'm finally like old, older than I was before, I know that I wish I could go back and not have to learn that the hard way with doing it over and over again. And I'll probably still do it in the future. I don't know. I kind of cut out a lot of those people in my life. But, um, you know, I'm forgiving. And I really find the good in people. So I really end up missing people that I shouldn't miss. Like, they shouldn't even... <sighs> you learn lessons, but you never really learn lessons, do you? Alright. Battery was dying. Battery has been changed. I now I realize I've been rambling a whole lot, so I'm actually going to read maybe like two or three more questions and then cut this off because I'm done. Because, who's even watching this till the end? Probably no one. I am just making a video so I can upload my Friday video and not lie about posting every Monday through Friday. But hey, whoever is watching this till the end, which I know there's one. Um, one is better than none, right? Okay, so just a few more questions and then I am just gonna call it quits and do some yoga, beginner's yoga, because, you know, I'm not that talented. I can't. Okay, anyways. What is the last mistake you will admit you made? I don't make mistakes. Who does that? I don't do that. Um. You know, maybe I'm not meant for this Q&A video type thing, but it's been fun trying. If you could change anything about your physical appearance, what would it be? Um, oh, that's a good one. I am, I don't even really like to talk about this because I don't like to dwell on things that I can't change without a ton of money at least and um, like I don't like to bring that negativity into my life I feel like I'm going to let out positive things to the universe and hopefully the universe will bring me positivity back but since it is a question and I have to answer it I would say okay in the last like less than a year I lost maybe close to 90 pounds and losing weight that fast has made my skin a little not great so i feel like my face looks a lot older than it's supposed to which i am super self-conscious about even watching when i edit my videos i'm like oh my god my face is sagging i have lines i have more lines it's you know just not tight if I run my cheeks probably bounce because of the extra skin long answer short I would probably get a face fix I don't really know what it's called like if I, if I could change the way my face is <laughs> that's because it looks older than it needs to so if you know any skin secrets on firming creams or anything okay do, 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 do. uh what are the three top attractions you have toward the opposite sex are we talking physical or um not physical mental that's what it is um or is it both you know, y'all have to be clear with me in your um, questions because I'm not the brightest crayon <laughs> in the box. 
No, I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm very bright. Okay, so I think, okay, for physical, I really like arms. I don't know why. Like, if you have nice arms, like, and you're in just a regular t-shirt, doesn't even have to be a muscle tee. If you have nice arms, that's one. That's definitely the, in the top. If we're talking about the three, that's, I don't know if it's the number one, but it's in the top three. So we'll just, arms, yep. I also very much like someone that is funny. I tend to laugh very easily, so it's not hard to meet that standard. But I, oh God, someone that I can just, which is my husband, but someone that I can seriously just sit and crack up with and like laugh at nothing. He make me laugh and I like to laugh and who don't like to laugh? If you don't, then don't talk to me. Okay, last question. How important is your religious beliefs to you and the inspiration it is on your children? Okay, this is crazy because, I mean, it's not. God, I'm really bad at putting my answers into words. It sounds so good in my head though, you guys. Anyways, it is very, it's a 10, it's a 10. Religion, what character do you relate to the most and why? Let me just tell you something. I don't know why these books weren't bigger. Like, you know, there's Twilight, there is Divergent, there is Hunger Games, and um, the Maze Runner. This trilogy should be in the, you know, the huge category that have become movies, and it's just so amazing. Anyways, if you are a reader, Please go get the Prodigy Trilogy. It is so good. It is Prodigy, um, Legend, and then Champion. This is my favorite trilogy. And before I like turn this um, Q&A into a full on book club, which I can make a book club video if any of any anyone's interested let's make a book club i will reread this and like any other book right so so let's please let's make this a thing you guys for real you know it's not but they all think it is she can't kill him because she loves him love conquers her even though she fought against her best you know best mind that she needs to kill him she didn't because she loves him love comes first to june and she is still strong and she is still brilliant but love does come first and she ends up saving the one that is supposed to die because she you know that sounds really horrible that's really horrible she let love control her and that's what gets us in these messes in the first place i feel like anyways that is the last question that I am going to answer for you and I am so sorry that this video was so boring but like I said I cannot just make so many vlogs of me doing house chores but I had to get something up for today. So happy Friday. I hope everyone has a good weekend. I hope I see you in my next video. That's all I have to say. Cheers.